The 72nd Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring got off to a wild start with the Risi Competizione Ferrari spinning and winning in a way by not getting hit by anybody else. Well, they won the lottery right there, but there was further action deeper in the pack with the two McLarens coming together. And that made for a long day for the FAF number nine, the defending class champions here at Sebring. They'd head back to the garage area, but that would not be the only time the nine would have issues. And then on pit lane, the class leading 14, Lexus Faster Sullivan, little bump to the crew member that led to a drive through penalty creating some early challenges for last year's champions. There would be a great comeback for that car as we zip ahead to the second hour, the AF Corsa LMP2 prototype into the tire barrier. Not as fortunate as the Risi Ferrari. You can see major damage there. That really thwarted their day. And then Michael Dyna, tall commitment down into turn 13. This is Tower Corner. These were the def defending class champions here as well. Hour six on board one of the Mustangs as PJ Hyatt, the number 99 LMP2 car, got squirrely and then had contact into the outside barrier. They'd have to come to pit lane for some repairs. Not just the 14 Lexus with a penalty, the 12 got one as well for an early unsafe release, smashed into the 01 GTP Cadillac. And then this was the crash of the race unfortunately it was for the defending race winner four-time winner pippo durani ended up upside down he was okay this cuts it too close and lapping that car miguel molina the ferrari fortunately pippo walks away unscathed but a big dent in their championship hopes hour nine the number 10. Sister car to the 40, Wayne Taylor sees smoke coming out the back that would create all kinds of visibility issues for some other competitors. You see the 74 car getting together with the Tower Motorsports entry down into turn eight. They would continue and be a threat for the win. Huge crash here for the gradient Acura of Catherine Leg. That was nasty. And that damage on the Porsche would have an effect here. Look up ahead. That's Fred Mekovecki aboard the leading number six. He just had that contact a short while ago with Catherine Legg. He'd cut down that left rear corner, and he would have to hit pit lane and lose a lot of track position. It would take the Penske crew some time to cut away all of the tire debris. And this, the move of the GTD Pro Race. Jack Hawksworth inside the 62 Ferrari of Daniel Serra. It was decisive, it was brave and it was effective it was race winning and speaking of race winning how about this the 40 acura for wtr andretti that was the pass for the lead which was ultimately the pass for the win louis delatraz on sebastian bourdais and that was it to take it all the way to the checkered flag for delatraz jordan taylor and colton herder and the wtr andretti squad there's the successful trio Awesome performance. Next race on the schedule on the famed streets of Long Beach. We'll see you there.